Hi, this is Mara, and I am making this video for you about your query on your money issues. So before I begin, I would just like to say I am not a fortune teller. So I will not be telling your fortune today at all or ever. Um, I will not tell you the future, like if you're going to be winning the lottery or the, receiving a check or anything like that. This is more like a guidance counseling session. So. Um, the information here is from our angels, our guides, our creator, our spirit guides, uh, beings that are always constantly in our life helping us that we cannot see or that we can, but <clears throat> just maybe not pay attention to the messages that they're sharing. So concerning money issues, they're here to help you uh, put into perspective what's going on. So I'm going to do a three card spread for you. Before I begin, I will show you. The type of cards I'm using now these are just handmade cards um, nothing fancy there are different pictures on them and words and letters I call this the health deck or the physical deck um, because the images on it have to do with uh, health of course but also the physical world here um, more material things so with that being said, I'm going to pull three cards for you. Card one is going to represent where you are currently concerning your money and uh, funds. Card two is going to represent um, what you are doing to hinder uh, your financial situation. And card three is action steps that you should take towards improving. So I'm just going to give these a shuffle. And normally before I do readings, I always say a prayer. Um, which I have done already just to save on time in this video. So, alright, card number one, appendix. So, a lot of people don't know what the appendix is for. This is a, a part of your body. Most people for some time now have been like, oh, it doesn't have any function in the body. Appendix is where, um, Blood cells can be stored that, that you might need later. Blood cells are important because they keep you alive. They help protect you against disease and such and such, blah, blah, blah. Uh, how does this have to do with money in your current state? Right now, you are storing, I guess, or, or concerned about uh, what's in store for you um, concerning your money. Perhaps it's a little shaky. Perhaps you have... Uh, been not maybe uh, spending your money wisely or investing it wisely and now are feeling the pains of it so let's move to card number two and see what that has to say std so what are you doing to hinder your uh, financial prosperity i guess we'll say um and this is not std in the sense that you think uh this says spirit spiritually transmitted disease so that means that right now you have you're you're infected your mind is infected with negative with negative energy um how does this have to do with money you ask well everything has to do with money everything has to do with everything as far as your emotions go, if you've been thinking negative stuff like, oh, shit, not going to change, or I'm tired of this, and blah, 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 and just being angry and upset and focusing on the negative aspects of your current situation, then you're actually prolonging the negative energy. You're prolonging this, this negative circumstance that you're going through right now. So instead of focusing so much on the issue, it's time to focus on the solution. Um, I think this is pretty straightforward. I don't feel like I have to do a, a very long, in-depth explanation of this. If you keep negative thoughts, then you're going to attract negative opportunities, negative circumstance, and negative situation. Um, when we think about money, we think about abundance, and we think about richness, or we think about uh, gaining something. But you can't gain anything if you're holding on to, to stuff that you don't need. Um, so in this case, it's going to be your emotions, your thoughts, um, the way you feel about this whole situation or about yourself in general. It's time to get some positive thoughts about yourself because this is this is a reflection. Your current situation is a reflection of your thoughts, what's currently going on inside of you. So let's pull the final card. 
Okay, this card says, on the top it says organic foods and then it says toxic substances. Um, this card is, has to deal with nourishment and, and discerning between the, the pro, our needs, I'll say, versus our wants. Um, organic foods, this means nourishment, wholesome, positive energy. Um, again, card number three represents action steps you, sh you can take that you need to take towards changing and turning around your whole situation. You need to nourish yourself. So we just talked about having spiritually transmitted disease. We just talked about having negative thoughts and negative energy. Now it's time to replace those thoughts. Not replace them, but you know, get rid of those thoughts and to renew yourself with some positive energy. Um, toxic substances means staying away from toxic substances. This could be people, uh, places, things. If you know that you have a money spending problem, then it's, it means you need to stay away from triggers. So if you spend money because you're upset or to impress somebody or to uh, make yourself feel better because someone else has made you uh, feel poorly about your financial or material status, then those are things that you need to avoid doing. And also, if you feel the need to stunt or, uh, what's the word I want to use, or to um, take on other responsibilities for everybody, then you need to also stop doing that because then you don't leave anything for yourself. And then you, you are left in a situation or an environment where you're, you're feeling without or, or at a loss. So with that being said, um, I'll just review these cards one more time for you. All three of the cards... So appendix. Uh, also, I want to talk about appendix again too. Um, an appendix inside of a book. That means that's where all the information is being kept that you can go back and uh, research, do some research and find out where things have been cited from and such as, and such and such. So um, this also means uh, right now you need to be uh, taking a step back and, and looking at uh, your your actions up until now uh, dealing with finances that have led you here that way you'll be able to get a clear perspective on uh, exactly what you need to do because this is just a little bit of insight but but this right here um, your attitude is key your attitude is everything everything that we do originates from a thought or a feeling you you have to think or feel something before you act um, so Keep a positive mind frame. If you want prosperity, you have to have a, a prosperous frame of mind. You have to have a positive frame of mind. So I hope this has been helpful for you concerning money um, or concerning anything. I hope it has shown some light to you. Be sure to thank your angels and guides for the information they have shared with you um, today, that, that they have shared with us today. And if you have any questions or comments or you like any more readings in the future, feel free to send me an email or you can visit the website that I will post in the bottom of this link. So thanks for watching and bye-bye.